Hello guys and welcome to this react.js tutorial In this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to create a beautiful carousal using react bootstrap Please like and subscribe, let's get started So the first thing we want to do is go to our project and open up a new terminal So terminal, new terminal And then we want to install react bootstrap So to do this we need to do npm install react dash bootstrap And then dash s to save it click enter and they should install react bootstrap for you okay so now that react bootstrap has been installed now let's actually go and create this carousal so the first thing we need to do is go to our to google to or any browser and search react bootstrap carousal click enter and click on the first one and as you can see we have this carousal we'll be copying this so just copy this code click copy and then go to your code and delete all this code we do this is not necessary and you can paste in the carousal here but the better way to do it is to create a component uh, components folder and put that carousal inside that that components folder so i'm going to do it that way it's much more cleaner so a new folder inside source components so we'll store our components in this, inside this folder and make a new file call it carousal.js and then to make a react functional component we want to use the functional component rfc click enter if you, you need to install this extension to do this so this extension is called es7 react redux graphql uh, if you can't find it or if you're not using vs code then just make a react functional like this a react functional component like this so it's pretty simple so paste in your code inside this div and if you have installed this extension then click alt shift f on macbook uh, on windows and option shift f on macbook to make this code cleaner i'm going to close close this terminal uh, i'm going to now let's actually import this this carousal so we need to import this from react bootstrap so import carousal from react bootstrap save this file and now let's go to our app.js and inside app.js we need to import this carousal component that we have just created so to do this let's uh, write carousal click enter and it should automatically import it for you if it did not then import it like this import carousal from dot slash component slash carousal and we need to close this we'll close the tags and save this now let's actually check our uh, website so go to react app for refresh uh, we have an issue and this issue is because inside carousal we are importing carousal from react bootstrap which is a component and we are also exporting functional uh, a functional components called carousal so this is conflicting with this they uh, they both have the same name and they are both components so we have an issue here so to fix this we need to change the name of our component which is carousal.js we can change this to for example bootstrap carousal bootstrap carousal.js and uh, i'm going to click no just to explain this for you so i'm going to do it manually and uh, change you have to also change this to bootstrap carousal well you don't have to but it's better it's much better bootstrap carousal and also i'm going to go to app.js where we imported this carousal and change this to components slash bootstrap carousal and we also need to we don't need to but we can uh, it's much better copy this and paste it here so importing it as bootstrap carousal changing the name to the bootstrap carousal name and do that here as well so bootstrap carousal so now if I go back to my browser and I refresh as you can see we have this carousal but it doesn't actually work so what we need to do is actually go to react bootstrap and go to getting started we did install react bootstrap but what, el what, what we need to do is we need to get the CDN for react bootstrap which is this link because uh, this would get the styles from react bootstrap installing react bootstrap would just give us the components we need to also get the styles so copy that link and go to index.html inside public so go to public slash index.html and paste this link over here so you can uh, everything is going to be rendered inside index.html at the end when react renders you don't need to understand this just copy that link and paste it inside index.html and now if uh, save index.html and let's check this so go to your react app refresh as you can see it is working so there's some buttons here if you click them it's not showing but because it's white 
but if you click it it is working but the issue is the image so we need to get a uh, because look if you if you go to the bootstrap carousel as you can see the source is holder.js slash something but uh, we do not have this image so just get any image so i'm just going to get uh, a few images from uh, google so i'm just going to write for example react js logo and i'll take this image and copy image address and go back to our code paste that in here and uh, we need two more images for these so i'm going to get some images do do this as well if you want so i got three images and i just put it in the source so i got the image address for it and put it in source now let's check it out so if i go to react app and if i refresh as you can see we have a carousal we can click next and we can click previous over here it's not as you can see previous the image uh, size we can handle this using uh, some styling if you want so instead of width 100 remove that this is bootstrap styling we do not want that and we'll give it a fixed height so we'll do for example style is equal to a uh, height of for example let's say 500 pixels and copy this and paste it for each one so that's it there's the the carousel is working but this is just some touching up to the images so for the height as you can see now we have this next button and this previous button over here so you can change these images with uh, your 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 images that you want and this text or the other text that you want I don't, I'm just here to explain how to create this carousel so I hope you have enjoyed this uh, this tutorial please like and subscribe goodbye